Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Women, and today we're out here in Jerome, Idaho in the snow with the Bond Arms Derringer 357 Magnum. We're going to be taking a few shots using number 9 Snake Shot from CCI, and then we're going to be shooting two rounds of Magtech 38 Special Hollow Points. We got a potato, and we got a little mini pumpkin, we got hard cider and an old coffee drink of some sort. Now we're also going to be discussing this firearm and its uses, its practical applications. The first thing I'd like to discuss before we shoot two rounds of snake shot, which looks like this, is the fact that even though this barrel is obviously longer than one and three-eighths of an inch, there is only one and three-eighths inch of actual barrel and rifling to use once you have the shell in there, because the shell occupies a lot of the barrel. Now, this firearm has a number of safeties. One's a rebounding hammer. The other one's this crossbolt safety right here. So you just push that out of the way. And then you have to cock the hammer back and pull this really heavy trigger. Now, the trigger pull on this thing is heavy and awkward on purpose. You have to hold the gun way down here and then pull the trigger down and backwards. And so, it's really weird, and let's try it. Also, we're going to be talking about the practical distances. Right now, we are approximately three yards, maybe four yards from the targets, and so that's what we'll be using for the snake shot because that's how close the snake might be. Okay, now let's go check out the pattern. Thanks to the fact that there was snow, you can actually kind of see the spread at four yards of the BBs, disturbing all this fresh snow. So, tore through this thing and then I hit higher over here. And so for a snake, yeah, that could work. To unload, you hit this lever right here. Just press this hand done extractor. Okay. Now we're going to do some actual bullets. And for those, we're going to stand back just a little farther, maybe six or seven yards. We're going to shoot it at the coffee drink. Now, because there's two barrels, the sights are approximate, so let's see how accurate we can do. Let's see if we can even hit it at five or six yards. This uh, coffee drink over my shoulder right here. So, I missed it at seven yards. Hit right near on the second shot, but one was high and one was low to the right. Again, this isn't for accuracy, really. I'm sure if it 
it wasn't freezing outside and I had more trigger time on this. I only have about 18 rounds through it until today. Uh, might be a little bit better, but as of right now, was unable to hit that target. So let's go back to using snake shot. Go back to using some of the CCI number nine snake shot. And we'll see if we can, what the spread looks like on that from about seven yards. I moved the drink so we'd have more fresh snow. So the BBs are spread out even more. Let's look at what it did. As you see, we managed to cause it to spring a little leak. About four holes I see in it, maybe three. Not too many. Compared to the can here, which had, you know, one hole, large, Terror and that, so two or three holes. I did shoot a little high above the can because the fact it was on the ground. Let's see if it hit, and if so, if it penetrated. See two little BB holes right here and here. Another one right here, but it didn't really do much damage. It did go out the other side though, so, you know, snakes probably would be killed or at least injured and flung away. Because uh, they are light and squishy compared to that little pumpkin, which has a pretty thick skin. Well, I think it's safe to say that at this point... This thing would be good for carrying for snake defense around the farm or if you're out hiking or fishing especially if you're in like oklahoma or texas and you got water moccasins copperheads you know cotton mouse things like that you have to deal with especially when you're fishing especially the ones that swim up you know, little juvenile ones especially trying to harass you you can just blast them with this um i'd say it's probably effective to seven yards but probably if you're shooting a snake you're gonna be closer than that for people you could carry it in your pocket i guess however um and you can shoot through a pocket with it because there's no reciprocating slide or anything else that moves so you could shoot through a pocket kind of like in uh, the old school cowboy movies where they use derringers for like gambling guns but uh there are much better things this way is 19 ounces you can get a ultralight Taurus or Ruger LCR or something that weighs a lot less and holds five rounds of 38 Special plus P-loads. I'd recommend that. But for snakes, this does serve a purpose. Um, the trigger, again, is quite terrible. Just uh, in the video on that note, you see how you have to pull it, you have to hold the gun here because the hammer has to be cocked back. You have to hold it here because you have to pull it down and it moves like that. Anyways, I hope this video was somewhat informative and help you decide whether or not you want to buy one of these Derringers. Uh, they are really cool. Um, they would be great bludgeoning implements. Uh, they weigh a lot. They're pure metal. You can use like brass knuckles or pistol whip someone, I guess. But really, they're they're not great for personal protection, except for snakes. They're good for snake defense. Anyways. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and sticking around throughout the video if you made it this far. Take care.